Okay, and as promised, we're going to talk about converting fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. So right here, we're converting the fraction to the decimal. So let's do a couple of examples. So one, one way to do it, and this always works, is using long division. Or you can make it a power of 10. And this is kind of like a shortcut method. So um, if you can't make it a power of 10, you have to go back to the, using long division. But it's... It's a shortcut method, so if you have something like two-fifths, if you can make that into a 10 and multiply the, the top and bottom by 2, right, to make it a 10. And this is just like multiplying by 1. Uh, multiplying by 1 doesn't change the value of anything, right? 1 times 4 is 4, or 1 times negative 10 is negative 10. So multiplying by 1 doesn't change the value, and this is just changing the way it looks. So this is an equivalent fraction. 2 times 2 is 4, 5 times 2 is 10, so it puts it as a, a tenth, so 4 tenths is equivalent to 0 .4, 0 0.4. Uh, you could also do it with higher powers of 10, like uh, if I had 3 25ths, if I can see that, oh, if I multiply that by 4, I can make it into 100, right, so multiply by 4 over 4, I would get uh, 12 one hundredths, which would be 0.12. Twelve hundreds. Um, now, just to show you that these repeating decimal, or this is like a terminating decimal, ends at some point. So this is called terminating. And terminating decimals are the only types that can be put over a hundred. So you won't be able to do it uh, in the repeating decimal types, uh, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, so let me just show you that long division still works with these kinds. And remember we had our man riding the horse, so the man goes inside the house, and the horse goes outside the house, so 3 25ths, and I put a decimal, I can put as many zeros as I want, and it doesn't change the value of 3. So 25 goes into 3 zero times, bring up the decimal, 25 goes into 30 uh, one time, so 1 times 25 is 25, Subtract, I get 5, bring down the 0. Uh, 25 goes into 52 times evenly, right? So that's going to be the terminating point. So I could bring down the 0, and then it would just continue to be zeros, but those don't change the value of it. So this is what we call a terminating decimal. I don't have to write those zeros, so it's just 0 0.12, which is the same as what I got uh, by using the power of 10 method. So what happens if we get a type that does not turn into a power of 10? So how about uh, 2 ninths? Well, I can't multiply you know, any, any whole number times 9 to ever get a power of uh, 100, power of 10. So what I do is a long division. So I say 9 goes into 2. Uh, zero times, and then goes into 20, uh, two times, which is 18. Subtract, I get a 2, bring down the 0. 9 goes into 20, two times, and you see it will repeat uh, on and on, and it will always be a 2. So this is uh, 0 0.2, and then we just put a bar over it to say it repeats um, on and on. So this is greater than... 0 0.2, right? 0 0.2 with a terminating decimal is can be written as 0 or 0 0.20, right? And with a repeating decimal, I could write it as 0 0.22 repeating, right? So 22 is greater than 20. So don't think that these two are equal. This this has uh, more twos on it, and this has a zero. Okay, so uh, let me try. Just one more that's repeating. How about uh, about one uh, one seventh? Okay, so one seventh is actually I think I'm gonna need more paper for this because it kind of takes a while for it to repeat. I'll go uh, one seventh is seven goes into one zero times, and seven goes into ten uh, one time, so it's seven. 3, bring down the 0, 7 goes into 30 4 times, which is 28, which subtract to get a 2, bring down the 0, 
7 goes into 20, uh, not 3 times, that would be 21, so it's 2, 14. Subtract, I get a 6. Bring down the 0. 7 goes into 60, 8 times, it's 56. Uh, just 4, bring down the 0. 7 goes into 40, 5 times, which is 35. And subtract again a 5. Then 7 goes into 57 times, which is 49. And I'm back to my 10, right? So the yeah, answer is 1, which is 7, 3, and then it will repeat itself. So then I have, yeah, so it's 1, 4, 2, 3, 5, 7. And it will just. So the re repeating decimal then is 0 0.142857. And it repeats itself over and over. And you would see that as I keep going, it will always um, fall in that pattern. So this is kind of a, um, an interesting one. And this number uh, pops up in some uh, interesting ways. But anyway, that's a, a decimal equivalent of a fraction. And up next, we'll do some we'll do some decimals and turn them into fractions.